I'm Joe Major, Process Control Product Specialist for Warner Electric Supplies Process Solutions Group. In today's video, with the help of Mia, our multifunction instrument asset, I'm going to introduce you and show you the benefits of the HART protocol. HART stands for Highway Addressable Remote Transducer. It is a digital sine wave that exists over top of an existing 4 to 20 milliamp signal. HART is the most common protocol in instrumentation with over 40 million HART-enabled devices installed worldwide. There are numerous benefits to using the HART protocol, both in commissioning your field devices and troubleshooting any issues that might happen on your field devices. In today's video, we are going to be focusing on the diagnostic and troubleshooting capabilities of the HART protocol. The first thing I would like to do is open up our HART faceplate that we have developed here at Warner and show you some of the HART and non-HART data points that we are tracking. First, the HART data points. HART initialized, searching for or initializing a HART device. HART com fail, HART communication failure, device not found, or HART not enabled. Config changed. The field device configuration has changed and the new field device configuration information can be obtained from our module via a get device info SIP message, which will clear this bit. Heart fault indicates a problem with the heart data from the field device on our channel. Some examples of this are heart not enabled, heart device not connected, or heart communication failure due to noise on the wire. Field device status, heart device status byte from a recent heart reply indicates the health of the heart field device. Current fault. Analog current measurement does not match the current that the field device reported over the heart network. Then the two non-heart variables that we are tracking are overrange. We have a signal value overrange. Typically, this is over 20 milliamps. Underrange. This bit will go high if our milliamp signal is less than 3.4 milliamps if our transmitter is configured for a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Now I'm going to cause an error on one of our field devices so we can see the diagnostics in action and troubleshoot the field device without ever directly interacting with it. After causing the error, I get a heart com fail with the status message, heart com fail, device not found, a heart fault with the status message, heart device not connected, a current fault with the status message, analog current does not match with the field device reported over heart, and finally, a underrange fault with the status message signal value underrange. Going over all the diagnostic messages that we have available, we can quickly determine that the control loop is broken. I should be looking for a loose wire or a blown fuse. When looking at the breakout board on Mia, we can see that one of the quick disconnects came loose. When I plug the quick disconnect back in, we can look at the faceplate and see the transmitter and the heart protocol boot back up. As you can see, the HEART protocol can take what would have been hours of troubleshooting down to minutes. If you would like to learn more about the HEART protocol or are interested in what Warner Electric Supplies Process Solutions Group can do for you, please reach out to one of your Warner Electric account managers.